hello guys it's a wonderful and a very bright day out here it's another brand new day like i said my previous video that i'm actually going to come and tell you how i was able to defeat the salmonella and the typhoid um the foul typhoid that struck my farm some weeks back okay so um i'm actually in this place i don't want to go inside so i won't uh, make the birds start following me around as they have to eat yes okay so guys you know uh the first thing first you have to how i was able to defeat this was um the immune system of my bed was so so strong that is why it's extremely advisable to get your day old beds from a reputable hatchery that is very very good okay i'm going to give you an instance just like building a house that the foundation is very strong you can be comfortable by building a four-story building on a particular foundation that is very strong you have um the assurance that this building foundation is very strong okay so unlike you um building a weak foundation and you're contemplating if um you can make two stories or two-story building on that particular foundation when you are doubting or you are trying to contemplate because you definitely know that your beds um, are not actually strong okay the first thing first start by going for a bed that is vaccinated directly from the hatchery yes don't mind my eye going through some stress at the moment like you know i have to put some things i sleep late most times make sure I plan for the next day okay even most times i plan my week in a particular day so it's just normal right it's part of stress so guys as i was saying you just have to do this to make sure everything is in place make sure you get a vaccinated bed okay you can go for any company or any type of bed but make sure it's vaccinated it will save you a lot of stress okay the immune system of that bed will be boosted directly from the hatchery okay you going for a layer bed or going for a brother they know what you want okay make sure you go for a vaccinated bed okay feed them very well that is another thing a bed that is well fed will have the strength to resist sicknesses okay so guys what i did when i was dropped i had to check all the measures i put in place I first of all look at my biosecurity i noticed that it was very good because i don't move in here no one comes in my farm you don't come into my um pen with your shoes you have to put them outside and i have two shoes here as you can see and um, this one and the one i'm actually putting on so you have two shoes okay yes so when they are coming inside you put them on you change your shoes you keep your main shoes outside this door you keep it out then you come in with the one you're putting down then you step in here put in another one then you move in i look at that there is no chances of biosecurity striking by leading to getting um foul typhoid okay i have to look out for rodents and pests again whether if some of them might try to find their way into this farm and it's not possible because even my net looking closely to this place you can see that my net went up you can see it went up and i wanted to put some zinc there you can see that additional zinc round that's how i did it looking towards that place above the, uh, where the uh, 50 liter is everything was just good like it was set in place like everything was okay so i start looking at other places again so guy when i actually find out that it was the feed that caused it and it was late by then because this bed the immune system was very strong so it was not easy for me to notice immediately so they started going down one at a time okay so when i knew i noticed that this is foul typhoid okay i had to make some research about the symptoms and foul typhoid and salmonella just like that so i landed that at my conclusion that it was foul typhoid i had to check my water you can see how the water is so 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 clean so um there's no chance of the foul typhoid coming from the water okay so i noticed that it was foul typhoid so i had to go and start treating my beds immediately guys immediately as soon as i noticed 
there were many yes that were down so there was no way i could isolate so much bears like that i just had to treat all of them in general i place them in here and treat them general like guys i told you that i used two strong antibiotics okay that is extremely strong to help my beds get strong like get back to their state of being very healthy okay so when you're having such um problem like this in your farm yeah i'm going to actually tell you what the two um antibiotics is like what they consist of okay that will make your beds very strong i might not actually tell you the name because location differs you may not actually have the same antibiotics in your region or in your location as well but i'm actually going to tell you what they consist of the composition of these antibiotics okay so the first one is or is it tetracycline you must have at least 100 to 150 milligram of oxytetracycline in your antibiotics when your bed are having such issue okay the next is amosine you must have this amosine or the amosline at least 100 to 200 milligrams of it you must have it all these are agents that can fight the immune system of your bed to flush out those in infectious bacteria you have to get also the neomycin sulfate at least 10 to 30 milligram is okay because that is a soluble powder and it's highly effective so 30 milligram of this neomycin sulfate is very very okay for this treatment to fight out your fight out any bacteria you're having okay so this whole typhoid can indicate for the treatment and control of large number of bacteria can fight it especially salmonella which is also bracketed as foul typhoid okay so that is what you have to note this coccidiosis and salmonella work together when your bed when you have spillage of water in your farm and the bed start pecking on it you know it's actually going to be dangerous it will actually cause coccidiosis or when you have rainfall and the rain comes in from either direction of your farm and your beds are pecking and eating on the wet litter it's actually going to cause a dangerous like something something very dangerous to your beds that is actually going to um cause them to go sick okay so make sure any antibiotics are getting whether one or two in numbers or even three make sure they all have this composition that i've stated here which is the ozitatracycline the amosine the neomycin sulfate yes that will help to fight the foul typhoid okay so i've mentioned the the grams before so you can check it and you know all right so now there are different type of preventions when you want to prevent your beds you can give it this for two to three days consecutive days two to three days that is to prevent this but when your bed has been struck you can give them for five to seven days consecutively so that is what i did i give my bed from five to seven days you understand so when you're into egg production like me i give for seven days when you're into meat production you give for five days this strong antibiotics okay so the second composition of the next antibiotics you have to contain at least 100 milligrams like 50 to 100 milligrams of gentamicin sulfate okay this can also help to fight the immune system to flush out all the infectious bacteria that can harm your bed and also you have to have a good composition of 10 to 50 milligram of doxycycline herclate so whenever your bed is struck with something dangerous you have to know what you can give your bed don't forget the gentamicin is very very important or the doxycycline also known as the gendox 105 
which will help your birds to get very very strong as soon as possible and you also give them a very good health a very good body weight yes when your birds when you give your birds these antibiotics it's actually going to give them a good body weight you have to give them for at least five to seven days for them to pick up if they're actually dropping green poop the, the green poop is actually going to flush out immediately yes it's going to actually flush out then you start having a poop like this you can see those poop there yes because my beds are back to normal you can see that's why they're having something like that so i want to assure you that once you do this you take this measure that i just stated here your beds are going to get back to their normal temperature okay so now you may want to know the amount of liters you mix this well when you get the soluble um, powder or the liquid drugs that you actually want to give your beds when they are struck with this it's actually going to state there that you can mix some amount of milligrams to some liter okay they can tell you to mix if it's for the soluble powder you can mix for 10 milligrams to maybe 10 liters of water if it's for the liquid you can mix for maybe 100 mils to 10 liters of water just like that so the indication will be there so that is how i was able to defeat so after the inst uh, the incident what you have to do next is to shuffle your liters okay after some days you have to shuffle your liters so the ammonia because when these beds are sick they will also be sandbating okay they will be sandbating and you know trying to help themselves to relieve some stress so after that incident of the salmonella and the foul typhoid i had to stir this litter i had to stir it so you can see this place is all all wind flow like the four ways air flow from here from this angle from this angle and also from this angle okay so when the ventilation comes the air is actually going to push out those ammonia in the liters okay it's actually going to flush them out so this is how i was able to fight this foul typhoid okay and now all glory to god and my beds are now back you can see them going high when they actually have strength they will go so so high you can see them right there yeah you can see this fine lady you can see them they have just started dropping again this good morning so do well to like share hit the subscribe button ask me anything you want to know in the comment section tell me to do any video for you if you are having any challenges on your farm currently i'm actually going to do that okay thank you and have a wonderful day